is my 35 weeks update. Okay. Oh, oh, look at that feet. Ew. <laughs> Ew. So one of the first things I do in the morning is open my window because it allows the fresh air to circulate and it's actually very nice outside as well. Yeah, pregnancy sweats are a real thing so I get really hot easily. I'm also looking extra puffy in the morning. Look at this nose, like, and my lips like, Yo, know, I feel like every time I wake up, my face is just huge. That's what I generally feel like. Okay, these cheeks have come on, but in general, my face just feels like it's puffy, like out there, puffy. <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus Christ. It's like... I can't describe the feeling, but you know when you have something just really heavy on top of you, trying to weigh you down, and you're trying to get up, and then you're getting breathless in the process. That's what it fucking feels like. <sighs> it is like that every morning. Sometimes it's a little bit worse, but today is a bit more manageable. Um, oh gosh. Oh, oh, hi, hi, Mr. Snuggles. Hi, Mr. Snuggles. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Snuggles. Okay, uh, this is a size 8 to 10, which is my usual like size, but it, I underestimated. Look, uh, it just looks like Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> look, if I go downstairs, I look like that. I just look hella pregnant now. Look. Ew. <laughs> Yeah, this is what I look like. Wow. She has gone like bigger though. But my belly is like super round. Like, you see it? <laughs> She's super round. You see? That's what Benny Benny looks like. Benny Benny looks like. One thing I do have to thank pregnancy for is the endless, oh my god, my lips look so plump, what the heck, anyways, is um, the glow. So my skin has actually been immaculate throughout the pregnancy. The only time I've actually had a breakout was when I used different products on my face. But yeah, in general, my skin actually looks pretty on fleek. Actually, it's even better now. And it's like so smooth and soft and hydrated <clears throat> well yeah because i've been drinking as well drinking a lot of water not alcohol not nothing else <laughs> water <laughs> um yeah so that's how my skin is looking at 35 weeks it's been like this throughout my pregnancy anyways um yeah my hair is just a mess i just need a fucking haircut or trim but i can't be bothered to go and this is kind of like ill Ew. When pregnant women say that it's hard to bend down and grab anything or put in their socks or put in their shoes or whatever, I will prove it to you. I actually show you. Watch this. Oh, I need to take my deep breaths. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. We can do this. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm not actually over exaggerating that. It's like I feel winded. You know when someone's like punch you in the stomach and you're like, Ooh. then the other one. I find that it's harder to put this sock, my right sock, on my feet. <laughs> Yep. Hmm. 
I think I have developed another craving or a, a love for another type of food in this 35 weeks. I don't know if it's because the baby wants it or I want it or I just like the taste of it. Maybe it's just a combination of everything or maybe because I like food in general. But, oh gosh guys. This. Mr. Kipling's Angel Slices. I probably transitioned from like kind of salty and crispy foods from my first and my second trimester now towards kind of more of a sweeter palette not too insanely sweet though like it has to be the right level of sweet for me and the other day I was thinking about Oreo milkshake oh my gosh you should have seen you should have seen me so this is the Oreo milkshake that I was on about I had it in a takeaway last time but I decided okay I have to vlog this one because girl You see the consistency is not too thick, it's just right. Mm -hmm. mm. It's just nice. Mm. Maybe I might. I might get some chips. <laughs> So, these are the chips I've been craving. Mm -mm -mm. Throughout my pregnancy. But particularly, you've come back in the 35 weeks. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. has to have like quite a lot of salt and vinegar mm. but they have to be from that specific fish and chip shop because other people or well, other fish and chip shops don't do their chips like this mm. Mm -hmm. I bet you, I bet you the baby inside is like, what the heck is this, this, this substance in my amniotic fluid? <laughs> what the heck is this, it's cold. It's milky, it's creamy, slightly sweet. Actually, did you guys know that babies can actually taste the food that you eat? through the amniotic fluid they take gulps of that they also pee inside so don't know what girl girl is doing inside but mm -mm. she might be peeing and drinking up her pee in the amniotic fluid girl <laughs> 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 mm. but she'd be able to taste this and any food that I eat so certain flavors that are like stronger, like spicy or a bit more salty, sweet, etc. She'll be able to taste that. Whew. Well, that was really nice. I am pretty full right now after that milkshake and the chips. Bro, I'm already out of breath just by breathing. <laughs> and I forgot to tell you, I got a little lollipop from <laughs> the um the guy that served me at the cafe it's a really nice cafe actually um yeah give me some i was like ah oh, thank you i don't know what flavor this will be i am suspecting it's lemon I'm not really a fan of lemon um candy as it is but it's a very nice gesture and i think it's really cute yeah thanks for that mate thank you maybe my baby is just growing into a fat ass Apparently at this time they're packing on the pounds, so roughly I think she's weighing at what uh, 2.3 or 2.4 kilograms. Yeah, it's apparently normal for her to pack on that 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 much. Yeah, I hope she's um, 
she's brewing up nicely in there. But I hope she's not too fat because by the time I push her out, girl, girl, I'm thinking about the tears, the degrees of tears that I'm gonna have. Okay, so there is um, something that I've started to use late through my pregnancy. Well, because I didn't know that this thing existed. Um, and this was a gift from me from my baby shower. So this tummy butter from Cocoa Butter, Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula. Oh my God, it is so freaking nice. I love this, I absolutely love it. Um, and then it just looks like this, but it smells amazing. Like, it's just so nice. So I put this on my belly um, to moisturize it. And it has, <clears throat> I just I just love the feeling of it, the smell of it, the feeling of it, and it's just buttery, and it, it just moisturizes the belly so nicely. So it doesn't leave it like dry or anything, it leaves it like super moisturized, and <clears throat> it gives it a glow. So if you want to look at your belly and you're like, ah, oh, it's a bit glowy, that's the thing. This, this thing is, is, this so um yeah i think if you don't already know about this tummy butter for stretch marks i highly suggest you get it for yourself um it's never too late to start um i kind of wish i knew about this way before because i was like oh well i'm not getting stretch marks yet i'll start putting stuff on it when i when i do get them and now i've gotten them um, this has really helped like the stretch marks get a little bit itchy as well and like in other areas of your belly you do start and I have heard other pregnant women are like well um, you will find more stretch marks after you give birth so yeah you don't know how much your belly has actually stretched out so it's just important that you try and you know use one of these things for your belly for your own self-care um yeah i just want to put it out there if any anyone is having trouble you don't even need to be pregnant but this is generally good for stretch marks right okay <laughs> so that is it for my 35 week update um Oh, let me know if you are also experiencing anything similar or anything weird that you've developed throughout the late third trimester um yeah that's about it really um thanks for watching this very quick vlog <laughs> i know i look like a mess but i really don't care because it is one of those days i'm like i don't care if i look like crap I'm going to go ahead and record everything because by the time, like in a couple of weeks or months later, I'm going to be watching this like, oh my god, I look like that. Yeah, that's the memories that I'll be making. But yeah, I hope you guys have a lovely day. Um, I'll see you around in my next video. Bye! Mwah. <laughs>